hard to miss that big bright thing in the sky at night, the moon. And tomorrow we're expecting what's called a pink supermoon. But Christian, you're telling us it's not quite what it sounds like. No, not quite, but it is going to be a treat in the sky. And when you think of the pink moon, or you hear the pink moon, you probably think it looks a little something like this, but that's actually not what's going to happen. It's going to look more like this, like your normal full moon would be. Now it's called a super moon. We have two of these a year, and when it's a super moon is when the moon is as close to the Earth as it can get. So we have a super moon. It's going to be two of those. The reason it's called the pink moon is because of this flower right here. This is the creeping phlox, and these are actually blooming right now in the triad. Our very own Grace Holland actually took this picture a couple weeks ago, and you can see these flowers across the triad. Of course, the blooms being pink. That's why it's called the pink moon. And actually, every single full moon we have out of the entire year has a name related to it based on kind of what's going on. January is called the wolf moon. February is called the snow moon because typically we get snow in February. March, we call it the worm moon because that's when the earthworms actually start to come out of the ground as things start to get a little bit warmer. And of course, we make it here to April and we have the pink moon, which will peak. By the way, Monday night at about 1132 with clear skies should be a really nice night to see that. And even though it'll peak on Monday night, you can still see the moon for a couple days after that with nice weather.